Hey guys, how's it going? It has been months since I last uploaded a video here because we've been busy updating our flagship program ESA English Sprint Academy. Now it's renamed to ESA 2.0. So we've added a lot more features and I changed a little bit of the structure of the program. So if you're curious and you're interested and you want to know more and maybe join if you fit the criteria, make sure to click the link down below or somewhere here. Or here my god i even forget how youtube works now um if you want to know more but without further ado let's get into the video so in this video i want to share with you one small tip that my friend benny the irish polyglot from fluent in three months actually shared with me a couple of months back and it has helped me a lot it's a very simple tip but i still use it up until today and i'm loving it actually so if like the rest of modern humanity, you love to scroll on Instagram or TikTok in your free time. There's actually one low effort thing that you can do to start getting immersed in English today. And that is create a new account on TikTok or on Instagram and only follow accounts in English. So by following accounts only in English, you're going to train the algorithm to only show English content in your feed. So you're probably thinking, why don't I just follow all of these accounts from my current existing account? Well, the thing is, with your current account, you probably have already followed a lot of accounts already, like your friends, your family, maybe a meme account in Bahasa Indonesia or whatever your native language is. And then a lot of these content would get mixed up. When you scroll, you're going to be shown different types of content in Bahasa Indonesia, your friends, your family content, or memes, or videos, or whatever that are not in English. And the thing is, this mix of content when you scroll will dilute your immersion experience in English. I mean, of course, it's still possible to follow accounts in English with your current one without making a, um, a new one only for English, but just know that the experience will be different. So using a new account specifically made to learn English can really enhance your experience in language immersion. And of course, by following and getting exposed to a lot of these English accounts, you see different things. You will see the captions, of course, you will see subtitles, you will see how um, native speakers interact with each other in informal settings, you will see comments, so you will see how native um, speakers interact through the comments, because usually people um, talk differently in real life verbally, and textually. This can really expose you to a lot of interaction that you cannot get in the classroom. So the first thing that you can do is you can pause this video and start making that new account on Instagram or TikTok. For me, I prefer Instagram because I'm a millennial and I'm not a big TikTok user. So choose whatever is good for you. And then once you make an account, think to yourself, okay, what kind of things do I like to follow? Maybe you're someone who loves watching the news or maybe you just love scrolling through cat videos or memes or maybe travel blogs or travel influencers or maybe you're having some relationship problems so you want to follow accounts about, you know, dating tips or whatever or you love cooking so you want to look for um, cooking videos and all of that. So just take some time to think about what you actually love or what kind of problems that you're dealing with and then look for those accounts. I can give you some examples now. For instance, if you love watching the news to get updated with current affairs in English, then follow news accounts like BBC News, New York Times, CNN, Nat Geo. You can simply follow one of these accounts and then click on the suggested list and then you're gonna see a lot of other news handles in English. Not only will you get updated with you know current global happenings, you will also learn how these stories are narrated in English. Or maybe you love something random, you love eating steak. Then you know you go on the search bar and then search steak and see what comes up. For me, I found steak channel over the fire cooking and chef Kuso. So again, if you think like these accounts don't really fit to your liking, you can see look at the suggestion um, addition button there and then it's gonna show you a lot of other similar accounts. If you love memes, everybody knows 9gag. There is also, I follow Beige Cardigan, also Fuck Jerry, Sarcasm Only. There's probably like a million of meme accounts that you can follow. 
or maybe right now you're dealing with relationship problems maybe you've just gone through a breakup and then you want to learn how to cope with that you can simply look for dating or relationship coaches and this way not only will you learn english words new vocabulary or like different ways of explaining how you feel you will also gain relationship skills you will also learn dating skills or how to cope with this so again two birds in one stone some accounts that you can use matthew hussey the secure relationship the holistic psychologist and again if you don't like them you can simply just browse using the suggestion um the suggested account oh my god if let's say you love finance you can also follow a couple of instagram handles exactly about this so i follow the financial diet there's also personal finance club there is gp stephen there's her first 100k so many to choose from and lastly you can also follow accounts that are specifically made to learn english like nilingua for instance you know so or like if you could just search learn english or like english tips or whatever you will find a lot of those so once you've made your account and then you follow a lot of these instagram handles in english what you want to do now is to scroll through your feed and then like a lot of posts of, or reels that are in english this way you are training the algorithm to only show you english content so i know that instagram can be a little bit annoying sometimes because right now i have uh, my account in spanish and i only follow accounts that are in spanish but it still shows me english or indonesian content indonesian videos and i don't really like that so um make sure that when you are shown content in bahasa indonesia whatever your native language is don't like that because if you like them then the algorithm will think oh he likes this content i'm gonna sh show more content in bahasa indonesia so only like and engage with content that are made in english so that is the tip that i wanted to gift to you to share with you today i hope it can be useful to you because it was very useful to me when it was given to me and thank you so much for your patience for waiting for me here on youtube i haven't been posting a lot of these long form videos but i have been quite active posting shorts so make sure to check that out so um thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time in another video until then take care and goodbye <laughs>